Hello everyone, Bob is in the house and today we're gonna react to Katy Perry's new album Witness. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Like I'm not joking, like really. Like since the Swish Swish and Bon Appetit singles came out, I was dying to hear <laughs> this new album because you know I really love those songs and Witness, you know, like uh it should be a dope dance electronic music uh album. Although Katy Perry uh was not used to do this kind of music but now she does and I love her new style I think it's amazing and also the fact that she's featured she um, gets a hip-hop artist to feature on her tracks is just like it's so dope and incredible sounds amazing um, now though like <laughs> as I checked the track list uh, I saw that like um, there's no new features in the album, like the Skip Marley, Migos, and Nicki Minaj, uh, which were featuring on the singles. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're not gonna get any more features on this album, but uh, a little bit disappointing for me. I thought I was expecting some little bit more, but um, let's just get into it. You know, like it doesn't matter. You know, at this point, Katy Perry can deliver us a great album. And I'm really excited to hear what she's gonna, what she came up with, and so I'm ready to witness her album. Let's witness it. Katy Perry, witness. First reaction. Let's go. Okay, the track one, witness. Okay, I like the beginning. It sounds dope. If I lost it all today, would you stay? Could my love be enough? Hey. If shit hit the fan, couldn't it score? Could you go down with me tonight? Could we get back up and eventually laugh? Okay, okay, I love the mixing. I love the mixing of the song. The production is on point. Okay, I like this. Good start. Definitely chill, cool start. And we are wondering what's gonna happen next. Track 2, Hey Hey Hey. Well, she's going for completely new sounds though. I like the experimentation. This is completely what I didn't expect at all. Hmm. I like this part though. Like, mm -hmm. like the, the noisy beat at the back background. It's good. Oh, fucking love it. <laughs> nice. Alright, alright. Um. Well, I will be honest on this one, my honest opinion about this track. Um, I I honestly didn't like it because uh, I felt like it's kind of, un it was underwhelming song. I don't know, like, I just like didn't like the vibe or something. Uh, don't get me wrong, like, I, I'm, I like sad songs or like, I like good melodies and uh, I like uh, alternative genre as well. But not all alternative, but yeah, man, like a <laughs> good amount, good portion of it. But this track is just, I don't know, I think like it could have been better, much better. And uh, I didn't know what she was trying to do with that, honestly. Let's be respectful of the uh, opinions. Like, uh, if some people might love this track, I didn't, it, it happens. So, uh, this is. Uh, 
go to track three, uh, and track three's name is Roulette. Okay, it's kind of like feel of the 90s, like the beat. Okay, come on, yes, all right. Track 4 is Switch Switch. Many of you know how I feel about that track. It's a dope track. It's a fucking amazing track. I love it so much and uh, I, I encourage you to check out my first reaction to Switch Switch. Uh, it should be here as a suggested video. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't press it right now. <laughs> uh, it's just like at the end of the video, I guess. Uh, go to the description below. Uh, description box down below and uh, hit that uh, link to Swish Swish and I promise you it's a, it's a great reaction of mine uh, I danced a lot on this one and let's go to track 5 Deja Vu I still feel the blows from all of your daughters mm -hmm. Beat, yeah. Come on, Katie. to it to track five uh, and track four a bit I mean track four switch, switch. I mean track three but um, it's just like I f like I have a taste of a little disappointment over here like I thought Katy Perry will do a better job than this one honestly like I like I kind of feel these tracks but I'm not digging it completely. I'm not. I'm not into them completely, you know. And so that's kind of disappointing for me because I really like was hoping to get a perfect, great Katy Perry album, like based off those three tracks I heard before, like which were anticipating this album. I mean, which were which made me anticipate this album. There we go. Uh, it's just like the expectations were high very high and i guess maybe that's what is playing right now maybe that's why it's disappointing right now because i'm not hearing that quality it's like here it's not there so uh but <laughs> let's continue let's see what's what she's gonna offer uh because she has i mean 15 tracks and so we only finished track five so Let's just continue. Track six, power. I was fine before I met you.
<laughs> I know, I know, I don't make any sense by dancing in track 5 and uh, in track 3 and then claiming that those are that's, those weren't the good songs and then just sitting in track 6 and then claiming that it's a good song like um but it's just like at this point I was listening and like I mean <laughs> I mean I was sitting here analyzing to this track this time and well like I was paying like really close attention to see like what she's trying to do with the sounds uh, I'm understanding that she's um, going to another direction with her music in this album um, like with the again I'm mentioning those three singles 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 that I uh, listened before and they were all like dance hall songs um, but now uh, as we're listening to the album like none of the other tracks were into that feeling it was just like it's just like when Swish Swish came in it was just like so like kind of random <laughs> in my opinion like after roulette like Swish Swish came in it's just like you could see that this is a single this is a great song but then this one this ones are just like kind of feelers like I thought um, but this one this one is actually good um, she is putting a lot of very interesting sounds throughout the song and it goes into different direction all over the place every time and like she and she's able to pull it off uh, with her vocals like it's kind of it's kind of one song but there's so much going on like switch ups and like the roller coasters and uh, it goes well and the uh, only uh, other consistent thing is uh, that drum hitting hard hitting drum boom ba, boom, 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 boom like at the end and the beginning and like throughout the song and so uh, I like the production of the track and uh, we're going to track 7 Mind Maze I'm losing no direction Slipping in a quick set I've shattered the illusion Surrender It's a mind maze All these hurricanes I like it, I like it She used autotune on her vocals That's cool <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I like it. I like that. And that trap beat works well as well. I, I like it. Uh, this song is kind of very like dramatic, and I can say like even cinematic. And I think it goes well. This this one is good too. Oh, okay. it's a oh, no, <laughs> I thought it's so much. <laughs> I'm listening to <laughs> track 3 and 5 again, trying to understand like what is wrong, like I... Something is like missing for me, I don't know what, I can't just dig into that one. Okay, um... Okay, 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 well... Well, hold on. <laughs> what's what's going on? Uh, maybe it's like her team, her producers. They are. I think like. Her, they are executing the songs really well. I think uh, they were able to give the vision of Katy Perry's uh, I mean they were able to uh, make the Katy Perry's vision into reality but Katy Perry's vision on the album wasn't good in my opinion the songs are good I like the, like the songs are good but they're not worth like re-listening to them like it's not 
I don't know how. Like, I just, I just don't understand it. Like, it's like you listen to it. The production is good. Katy Perry's vocals are okay. She never like had a great voice, and it's fine. It's just like I don't understand what's wrong. Katy Perry's vision, in my opinion, was to create album that slaps sonically, and she was able to do that with the singles, her singles. But for some reason, like she's rooting for, like in other tracks, she's rooting for like those kind of kind of dark vibes uh, and like kind of like. Uh, similar to healthy type of music in my opinion like kind of targeting alternative genre in my opinion but it's just like I don't know <laughs> I think like it's not working really well for her the other tracks I don't believe that she was not working like she didn't put her heart into it because she did she, she worked really well like in musicians are very passionate about her music. It's not. It's not like, like you can't just like go into the studio and like ah, I will do like four or five good songs and then just like fill it with other like bullshit. No, she actually was working hard on every track, and I believe that. But it feels like like really like average, average, average song great song average 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 and then we'll come to the chain to the rhythm and then we will go to bon appetit average 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 i mean <laughs> i yeah i didn't listen to uh, like after track seven but i hope it's not gonna happen like that but it's like going to that direction and i don't like that all right let's go to track eight miss you more yes 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 <laughs> okay now this is this is good this is very beautifully executed and she her uh, lyrics are very passionate and good the way of singing is good the instrumentals around her is just like dope as fuck like it works so well Itself, the melody was able to transfer all that sadness of Katy Perry. What she's singing about it just works beautiful, amazing. Oh yes. Okay, now we're going to track nine. I love it. it didn't do my reaction to it so uh, I actually down to just listen to it and dance again <laughs> fuck yes let's go Track 10, Tsunami Okay, I like the beginning Yeah. <laughs> 
like what I'm hearing now. I really like what I'm hearing now. Uh, I bet <laughs> most of the Katy Perry fans already gone from this reaction after track seven. But right now, like I'm finally enjoying the album. Track eight, track nine, track ten was on the level uh, which I was expecting from Katy Perry. Uh, though you don't have to make the craziest or most experimental song to make it sound good. It, it can be simple but nice to the ears and that's what happened I think in track 8, track 9, track 10. Uh, I don't know, it's just like what I'm interpreting. I don't know what's happening today for me, man. <laughs> Let's just continue. Track la oh, bon appetit. so much <sighs> track 12 bigger than me into me you see final track of the album let's get it Sad 
All right, final thoughts on Katy Perry Witness. Um, well, I think I just didn't like the first part, the first half of the album, kind of. The, I mean, Swish Swish is a dope song. I mean, I feel like Swish Swish is the best song for me uh, from the album and Bon Appetit, like on the same level. Um, but uh, in terms of other songs like Roulette and Deja Vu, the opening track Witness was fine. Um, so Deja Vu, Roulette, uh, and yeah, I feel like that's it from the first half, from the first seven songs. Oh, and Power, Power, Power was good too. Uh, but in terms of good, I mean, uh, yeah, it's all right. You know, like it's not that. Like I wouldn't. It's like for me, like I'm not really interested to go back and listen to those tracks. You know what I mean? Like that kind of feel, and that's disappointing for me. Uh, of course, uh, if you like these tracks, you you love them and go ahead and listen to it. You know, like I'm not stopping. Uh, go ahead, I'll actually like encourage you to listen to it and uh, you know support your artists like Katy Perry uh, but j I'm just saying that it wasn't for me kind of I wasn't really impressed excuse me <laughs> baby's crying <laughs> but track 8 comes in and the second half was much better for me it was much better experience for me um, and I like the way miss you more change the rhythm tsunami was kind of um, unison for me like the, those three tracks were like worked well after one each other uh, and then Bon Appetit came in uh, I went crazy um, I love the vibe of Bon Appetit it was good um, then didn't disappoint after that as well and the standout would be uh, Pendulum I think from that part of the album um, but yeah so that's that's my <laughs> basically reaction and review of uh, Katy Perry's Witness um, I feel like I was just like maybe expecting from her too much before I like I never really listened to Katy Perry's album honestly like uh, I know all of her like hits all of her like singles, great singles, which we end up ended up being on the radio, right? Uh, I love uh, all of those songs, and uh, that's why I actually like Katy Perry. I really like Katy Perry, and I wanted her to kind of mm, like outbeat those haters uh, she uh, gained uh, recently, like recent years, um, and. Uh, Unfortunately, I was seeing a lot of hate towards uh, Chain to the Rhythm and uh, um, Bon Appetit and uh, Switch Switch, which I loved, but other people were not into it. Uh, I didn't know what they're gonna say uh, after listening to the whole album because the sound is different from those tracks for sure, and uh, maybe they will appreciate the artistic uh, like switch of the direction in her music um, she took uh, on this one and uh, but maybe not but so uh, for me personally I wasn't impressed and I th I wished it had more bangers I really like I was digging I was getting uh, into the album expecting a lot of bangers with like hip-hop trap influences as it was, it was happening but uh, it is what it is. All right, so it's time to say goodbye. Um, thank you guys for watching this reaction. Uh, I'm sweat and tired. <laughs> it's midnight in California. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, you can hit the dislike if you didn't like this video. That will totally understand. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, subscribe to this channel. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, <laughs> пока. <laughs>
Bai is usually at the end. <laughs> at the beginning, I start with the Russian, so пока. Arrivederci. Ciao. A memoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Uh, adios. E goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Swish, swish, bish. Another one in the basket.